My name is Charmaine and thanks for visiting my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video on how to shadow your words or put to add shadow behind your words. I already have a video uploaded on my YouTube channel about shadowing, but I use the Inkscape. You can also do shadowing on Inkscape.com org and it's free and i have a video that shows you that but it's a lot of steps it's a lot of steps to get to the um pro <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of steps to shadow your words so it might be a little complicated for people because they want me to do another um video so i found an easier way to go it is a way you can do shadowing in create space but i have a mac computer i tried to do it and it's not working on my computer you probably can only do it for pcs so track, check out um, the Penny Pinching Wife. She has a video on that. I'm going to try to find it for you. But if I can't, just go to her um, YouTube channel. She has, uh, um, I just seen it today. She has one about shadowing on her um, YouTube channel. And it she did it through Cricut. Like I said, I tried to do that today and it didn't work for me because I have a Mac. Or maybe... I don't know if it's, you can still do it on Cricut because they changed Cricut so many. They, they changed and update Cricut so much, the design space so much. So it might not work now. So we'll just try it and see. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to do it on Fonto. Fonto is an app. I know I got it from, um, I have Apple products. This is my iPad. And um, so I know it's an app for iPad. I know that it, it don't have a Fonto for it might not be called Fonto for Android phones, but it might be something similar on Android phones. So this is the iPad, okay? And I have a Mac computer. So let's get started. Fonto is this little red box right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then I'm gonna click this little camera down here at the bottom. Then I'm gonna say plain image. Then I'm gonna click on this white box right here. And then I'm gonna click up here to this, this little I kind of appear at the top. You can see that right here, little box with the arrow. And I'm gonna say use. This is what I'm gonna use. And I push use. Okay, and there's my, my box that I'm gonna be using. Okay. Now I'm gonna type in what I want to put in. I'm gonna put my name on here. So I'm just gonna push text and type my type my name. Okay, and then I'm gonna to to font right here and pick up my font. Let me see if they got the font I want. I just downloaded some font for um the font.com to this. Because I really don't use this laptop. I really don't use this iPad. So I just got to use it for this because I'm recording on my phone. So I can't use my phone to show you. So I just decided to use my iPad. I let my son play with this. So so let me see. I just downloaded the font today. So let me see if it went. It came through from the font.com. If you want to know about how. If you want to learn how to add fonts. Download fonts. I have a video on that also. That's why I couldn't find it. I just downloaded it. So what I did was, ah, let me go back. I'm sorry. Okay, I got to go to font. And I was looking for it in the font part. This is my first, like I said, this is my first time using my iPad. So instead of going to fonts, I go to my fonts because I downloaded them, okay? And there they are. I downloaded these two today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try Evocate. It's called Evocate. And um, you can use any kind of font you want to use. People out here, people using Honeybee and Milkshake are good fonts. But I couldn't find those today on um, the font. So I just went ahead and picked one I always use on my Cricut. And it was Evocate. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And now you need to go to click on style right here. And now you see it says text and stroke. Put down, Push the text button, which is already pushed. And you want to make sure you have your text the color you want. Okay, I want my text to be red. Now I'm going to change it to purple because I have another one I already made for red. So I'm going to change it to purple just for this video. Um, Okay, purple right here. So there's my purple. And then I need to go to stroke to change the color for the stroke. So I make sure my stroke is a different color. And that's going to be black. So I'm going to go through here and find black. And there it is. Make sure your stroke and your color is different so you better see it. Okay? So you don't have to worry about anything right here. Go down to alpha. Alpha is already all the way to the in right here so go to width let's play around you can play around with alpha and width to see how thick you want your font i mean your shadow see how that goes you can have it all the way as thick as that like that or you can go all the way down okay then the alpha is just the color the background of the um the shadow okay 
So I want mine thick because I'm going to be doing some earrings, the bamboo earrings. So I want it to be a thick shadow. So I want to do it like mm, probably right here. Okay. And don't worry about it. if you have white space, we'll get rid of that later. But this is how I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and push done. That's all you that's all we have to do, you guys. That's your shadow. Okay. So now we have to save it. And what I like I said, I have a Mac. And what I do is I push this button down here at the bottom, this arrow, and I go to um I airdrop it to my Mac. Cause I don't because I don't have my cricket on this tablet. I have it on my Mac. So I'm gonna airdrop it and then I'm gonna show you how where it goes on my Mac. And I'll be right back. If you don't have a Mac, go ahead and just save this on your um, iPad or Android, whatever you're using, and just go ahead and save it. It's a save as button you can push. If you can't airdrop it, just go ahead and push save as. Okay, I'm back. And here's my Mac. Let me plug in my mouse real quick. I'm sorry. Okay. So now I have my um, name right here. What I need to do is drag it over here. I got this is for my Mac. You can do it any way you want to. But what happened was I airdropped. I love I love Apple products. I airdropped my um thing I, the, the shadow I just did on my iPad and I airdropped it to my MacBook. Okay, or I could have did it to my phone. But I love Mac. How it just you could just transfer things without any headache. So I leave it right here on my desktop because I know I want to use this and I know I made a purple because I made a red one earlier just to test it out to make sure I don't have no goof ups on this video. <laughs> Y'all know me and my goof ups, but I won't I won't delete them. I'm gonna show y'all what I do wrong, okay? But I'm gonna start, you know, doing it before I get on. Make sure I got everything right. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go to Cricut, which I have a little green box up here on my Mac. I have a little green Cricut box right there. Open Cricut, launch, make it bigger. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and go to new project. And I'm going to go ahead and say maybe later. I'm not trying to deal with that right now. Okay, then I'm going to go to upload. And these are the ones I already played with earlier today. I'm going to go ahead and make sure because I know I made a purple. So I won't get the other ones mixed up. I just did the purple one. So here it is right here. And it saved it as a um, JPEG, which is fine. Here we have it. There we have it. So now we go to complex. Then we go to continue. Make this a little bit smaller. So I'll go to the little um minus sign up here and make it smaller. Now what we need to do is get rid of all this, okay? So we're gonna clean this up. Then we're also gonna do is get rid of the purple. Because right now we only wanna we wanna keep the background, okay? So let's go ahead and just click on the purple and make it all make the purple go away. Okay. Then we push continue. We like how that looks. It looks good. Let's push continue. That one look good. Yep, that's fine. So let's go ahead and push save. Okay, now it's right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And push insert image. Now it's going to make it a little smaller. So I'm going to just bring it down to probably about uh, 9. Now I'm pushing right here up here to width. And the height, I'm going to push, put the number nine in there and push enter. Make it a little smaller for me, okay? So this is my name right here, right? So Cricut changed so many things in this, um, in here. Basically, it's right here, it came out as a print, cut and print. As you see right here, it says cut and print. So what I need to do is go over here to print to make it a no feel, okay? So now what it does, it takes out my, um, it, it gives it no feel, Okay. So now what I need to do is duplicate it. I'm sorry, duplicate it. And then bring this down here. And then after you see how I have these two the same right here, I want to get rid of the letters out of here because I want to keep my divider. I mean, I'm going to keep my shadow. So I got to get rid of these letters out of here, okay? So let's um, highlight it and go down to the bottom to contour right here. See the contour button right here? Click on that. Like I said, I just want the shadow, right? So this is the shadow part right here. Everything else I don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on everything that I don't want. This is contouring. This is how you contour. So I'll go ahead, go ahead and click that off and watch that. Look at that. Bam. It's gone. Okay, so now with this one, I'm going to contour too, but I want to keep, that's all I want is the letters. I want to keep my letters. So then I go back, highlight it. I contour down here at the bottom. And I just get 
rid of the shadow, which is right here, okay? Bam, now the shadow's gone. Okay, and bam, there it is. So now we have our shadow. Let's change this shadow to, um, let's make it black for right now, okay? Then let's change my name back to purple like it was. Purple. I just went up to um, colors, the little space, I mean, the little box right here is the colors. Grid, and I bring it up. And there we have it, y'all, our shadows. Now you can be able to cut this separately and shadow. When you're doing your glasses, your cups, your mugs, this is how we shadow. Like I said, it's, it's a way you could do it in Cricut. Check out the video I was telling you about. Okay, so now let's see. Like I said, I'm going to be using, um, you could do anything with these words. You could do, I mean, this is shadowing. So it'd be so pretty after you finish doing your, your, your whatever you want to do. You can make this um shadowing thinner if you wanted to. You see how I moved it up and down when I was on Fonto? And it's Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. Okay, that's the name of the app. Um, and you can make it, You could, if you want it to be smaller, you can. If you want it to be thicker. But the reason why I made it so thick because I'm going to be doing those bamboo earrings. I'm going to basically be cutting this out and um, layering it and putting it on these earrings, okay? That's the reason why I'm doing that. So, y'all can take, stay tuned to that video that I will be uploading soon after I get it together. But you have to use epoxy and Mod Podge and all that kind of stuff to do that. It's not a quick fix. It's... And you gotta put some work into it, so I'll show you that later. But like I said, you can use this on anything. So um, which then after you, let me show you how it is when you cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it. And see how you got your black right here. This is one cut. Then your purple is another cut. Okay. So all together, and like I said, then you can be able to go ahead and um use vinyl, and you can be able to shadow it wherever you want to shadow it. And you can put this on top of that black vinyl. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. But um, please subscribe if you like the content of this video and hit that um, red bell so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. And please give me a thumbs up. I upload videos every week on this type of content. Supplementation, cricket, you know, doing everything with your cricket. And also check out my um, Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. It's my Facebook group and we have so much fun in that group. They want the ladies tell me what tutorials they want and I bring them to them. Okay. And we have a poll every Monday and they, they are able to pick out, they are able to choose from different topics of which, the, what they want me to do, what tutorial they want me to do next. And I do that for them. Whatever one wins the vote gets the video, gets the tutorial. Okay. So this was something they wanted to know how to do. So I'm showing them how to do it. All right. And check out my, um, and please check out my website, www.charminggalboutique.com. I have a boutique and I design all your personal items the way you want them. Umbrellas, book bags, anything you want, or doormats, anything you want, I got you. So check me out. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.